And on day three of deadly conduct trial for Austin police officer Christopher Taylor, attorneys showed the jury the guns police fired when they shot and killed 46 year old Maurice De Silva in 2019. And Taylor faces a deadly conduct charge in the 2019 death of De Silva. Taylor shot him while responding to a 911 call reporting De Silva was walking around with a knife to his throat. Prosecutors say De Silva was having a mental health episode and officers did not need to shoot. Defense counsel says De Silva's behavior was dangerous and Taylor acted in self-defense. Gang Sands Brianna Hollis joins us live now from the courthouse with today's update on that testimony. Brie? So body camera video shows officers firing within about three seconds of seeing De Silva. He was across a narrow hallway, had the gun to his neck and had it in his hand as he turned toward officers as police shouted commands. Today in court, both prosecutors and defense counsel had one of those officers demonstrate the perceived threat there by using a prop knife. We're about to show you video of that as well as that body cam footage. Am I threat to you here at 354? Is it possible that within just an instant, I can reach out and stab you. And Officer Zoom, I would like for you to tell the members of this jury, when you think it's okay, when you think it's appropriate to shoot and kill a second. Go ahead, sir. Drop the knife, drop the knife, drop the knife. Shoot, 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 shoot. So the definition of deadly conduct in this case is knowingly firing a gun at another person. Taylor's attorneys aren't disputing that he shot De Silva. They are, as we mentioned, arguing that he did so in self-defense. Throughout the trial, there's been a lot of talk about officers' tactical decisions before they even got into the elevator. We'll get into some more of that at six. But defense counsel argues that that doesn't matter when it comes to determining whether a crime was committed in this case and that the jury should only consider the moments leading up to the shooting after that elevator door opened. So it's going to be really interesting to see how both sides bring this all together in closing arguments, which are expected to start as early as next week. Jen, Nabil. All right, Bree, thank you so much.